Hi and welcome to JNJ's Food Basket. In this episode, I will be sharing the recipe for a simple fruit cake. First step is to make the caramel. Add 3 tablespoons of sugar into a pan on a low flame. As it turns into a darker brown shade, give it a stir and add 1 cup of water. Stir continuously to dissolve it in the water completely and continue to cook and reduce it to get about half a cup of caramel and let it cool. This adds flavor and color to the cake. Next step is to sift the dry ingredients together. All purpose flour 250 grams, baking powder 1 teaspoon, cinnamon powder patta 1 teaspoon, nutmeg powder jadika 1/2 teaspoon. Clove powder, ground up, quarter teaspoon. Dry ginger, chuck, half teaspoon. Salt, quarter teaspoon. Sift them together and keep it aside. Next step is to mix the raisins and chopped nuts together. Add a tablespoon of all-purpose flour and coat them nicely. This will prevent the raisins and nuts from sinking to the bottom of the cake. Add 100 grams of softened butter, 50 grams of oil, and 125 grams of ghee into the mixer and mix it well. To this, add 300 grams of sugar and beat until light and fluffy. Add the egg yolks one at a time and mix well. Add one teaspoon of vanilla essence, half teaspoon of almond essence, and one tablespoon of orange zest, and beat it again. to mix it thoroughly Now add 100 grams of glazed citrus peel to this and mix well add the sifted dry ingredients and the milk alternatingly in 3 or 4 stages make sure to mix the batter thoroughly after each addition of the dry ingredients and milk Now add the cooled caramel to the batter and mix it well. Now add the raisins and the chopped nuts that has been coated with the all-purpose flour and mix it thoroughly. And the final step is to beat the egg whites. Add two tablespoons of sugar and two teaspoons of lime juice to the egg whites, and beat until soft peak stage. Add the egg whites to the batter in two or three stages, and fold it into the batter after each addition. Transfer the cake batter to a greased pan. I am using a 12 inch by 9 inch pan. Bake the batter for 30 to 40 minutes at 350 degree Fahrenheit.
Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already.